Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Snakes are probably some of the most feared creatures in the world, and while this is perfectly in line, it may be a bit of a stretch, because out of the 3,000 known snake species, just a mere 200 of them pose to any considerable danger to humans. And among these 200 species, there are a select few with the most lethal venom. In our video today, we've sampled 10 of these bad boys from the Serpent Kingdom that you'd rather your paths not cross. Number 10. Boomslang. In the Afrikaans language, boomslang translates to tree snake, which means a larger part of the serpent's time is spent hanging on trees. Its hunting, too, is highly dependent on trees, as it has evolved to mimic the branches. In case of a potential meal, it extends forward in almost motionless fashion before striking. This is when it releases its potent venom into the victim via its large fangs and extremely flexible jaws that can open as much as 170 degrees. Despite the potency of their venom and their large 1.6 meter lengths, boomslings choose their enemies carefully. Usually, they flee from any animal they deem too large to eat, choosing to attack only the likes of frogs, lizards, and chameleons. Typically, a boomsling only attacks people if they attempt to handle or kill it. That's why, despite being one of the most venomous snakes in the world, it has resulted in very few human fatalities in its natural range. But perhaps its slow-acting venom has also played a role. The symptoms usually show up hours after the bite, which is enough to seek medical attention. On the other hand, this could give victims a false sense of reassurance that could very well escalate the situation. Victims can require a blood transfusion if antivenom hasn't been administered within 24 to 48 hours. Number 9. Banded Crate This is one of the largest crates, with maximum lengths averaging just below 3 meters. Most outstanding are the alternate black and yellow bands across its entire body, hence the name. Also conspicuous in this snake species is the triangular cross-section that isn't so common in other snakes. These showy bad boys usually feed on other snakes, but routinely snack on fish and frogs whenever possible. Despite their highly venomous reputation, banded crates are hardly seen as most of their activity is after nightfall. This is when they are likely to bite and hence more dangerous. During daytime, they prefer to laze around in pits, grass, or drains. If disturbed, their first go-to defense is to hide their heads under their body coils, preferring to be left alone. But for anyone who doesn't heed this kind call, the snake will bite, delivering around 20 to 114 milligrams of venom. In small amounts, the venom triggers vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness, and abdominal pain. Large doses combined with a lack of treatment lead to respiratory failure, suffocation, and death. The fatality from banded crate bites has been found to be about 10%, which isn't so bad compared to other snakes in this video. Number 8. Tiger Snake The tiger snake is so named because of its tiger-like banded body, although the colors vary a lot between different individuals. For the most part, they're solitary and only seek company for mating purposes. A bulk of their hunting activities is restricted to daytime, although they can also opt for nighttime snacks when it's warm. Tiger snakes are native to Australia, where they've accounted for at least 17% of identified snake bites between 2005 and 2015. According to estimates, fatalities from these bites range between 40 and 60%. Part of the snake's lethality lies in its venom having a blood clotting agent and a nerve paralyzer that can immediately spell doom for the victim. Symptoms of a bite usually include pain, especially in the neck and foot regions, numbness, tingling, and sweating. These are quickly followed by breathing difficulties, paralysis, and eventually death if there is no immediate medical care. But in almost all cases, the affected limb is instantly immobilized. Naturally, most of them would rather stay away from people, but launch into an offensive once startled or if they feel threatened. Number 7. Coastal Taipan Found in Australia and New Zealand, the coastal taipan is known not just for its potent venom, but its size too. In Australia, it's considered the longest venomous snake growing to as much as 2 meters on average. Larger specimens exist, although they're hard to come by. For instance, records kept by the Queensland Museum show the longest coastal taipan to be around 3 meters. The snake contains one of the most lethal venoms of any terrestrial snake, ranking at number 3 in the snake kingdom. 
A single bite from this snake injects venom amounts anywhere from 120 milligrams to 400 milligrams. This venom induces symptoms such as internal bleeding, kidney damage, vomiting, and convulsions. If left untreated, victims can die in as little as 30 minutes, although two and a half hours is more common. The duration usually varies with individuals and the amount of venom injected. Untreated coastal taipan bites have a fatality of 100%, which was the case up until the 1950s when an antivenom was made available by the Commonwealth Serum. Only one person is known to have survived the fatal bite in the late 1940s, but his blood had turned completely black by the time nurses attended to him. Number 6. Saw-Scaled Viper this is a whole genus of highly venomous snakes found in at least three regions, namely Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. They're rather teeny serpents, with the largest species growing to just about 90 centimeters long. The smallest, on the other hand, can attain a maximum length of 30 centimeters. Species in this genus have been responsible for the most snake bites and resultant deaths worldwide, probably owing to their wide range and, of course, their venom. According to stats, most bites occur during the night when the snakes are most active. And just how severe these bites turn out depends on the species of the snake, the sex, location, and the seasons. Females tend to produce venom that is twice as toxic as that produced by males. The males, on the other hand, lead in the amount of venom produced during summer months. The most severe effect of a saw-scaled viper's bite is hemorrhage that can occur several days after the attack. Number 5. King Cobra. Almost everyone has heard of the mighty King Cobra, the longest venomous snake in the world. Adults can grow to as much as 4 meters, but the longest recorded specimen was slightly longer at nearly 6 meters. It's highly revered in parts of Asia like India, Myanmar, and Sri Lanka, where it is endemic. In India, for instance, it's a national reptile. Despite its fearsome reputation, the king cobra is known to hunt mainly within the snake kingdom, preying on other serpents in the same range, such as the banded crate and python. It only goes after birds and lizards when the food sources start dwindling. Usually a non-aggressive beast, the king cobra is known to attack when incubating or when it perceives an intrusion into its personal space. In both of these cases, it's known to raise its head and extend its hood posture that is popular in the depictions of the snake. And when it strikes, it can retain the bite for as much as 8 minutes. Effects of the bite include excruciating pain, paralysis, and drowsiness in mild cases. For serious envenomation, these mild symptoms are followed by cardiovascular collapse, a coma, and death. The fatality rate for King Cobra bites ranges between 50 and 60 percent. Number 4. Barba Amarilla the Barba armorella is part of the pit viper species, endemic to the northern parts of South America. For a larger part, these venomous snakes stay on land, but they've proven to be quite versatile with climbing and swimming abilities for when they need to pursue prey. Part of what makes them dangerous is their highly irritable nature, the high ability to camouflage themselves, and the swiftness which with they attack. Ensuing symptoms after envenomation include severe bleeding, blisters, kidney failure, and abnormal clotting. The worst case is when there is a hemorrhage in the central nervous system, which can lead to death. Interesting fact, a patient still died from a Barba armorella bite even after being administered with antivenom. The patient was reportedly bitten in the Brazilian Amazon and reported symptoms such as dizziness, vomiting, diarrhea, and headaches. Number 3. Belcher's Sea Snake As you can tell from the name, the Belcher's Sea Snake hangs out in an aquatic environment, mostly in the Indian Ocean. Just like any sea snake, it comes up every once in a while for a nose full of air since it lacks gills. Most of its diet is made up of small fish, shellfish, and even eels. To catch prey, it depends largely on ambush as it'll easily lose to fish in an open water chase. Experts have termed it as a rather timid snake and will only bite when it's seriously mistreated. So you'd be hard pressed to find a snake bite incident involving this species. And even when it does bite, the Belcher sea snake injects just a tiny portion of its venom. But make no mistake, the small portion is still highly potent and can cause death in 30 minutes or less. That means immediate treatment is essential to alleviate some of the symptoms and prevent death. Now it's time for today's best pick. 
Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. Black Mamba The Black Mamba is another quite popular snake species after the King Cobra. It's also one of the most feared snakes in Sub-Saharan Africa. The black, and its name, was inspired by the color of its mouth rather than its outward appearance. The snake itself is generally gray or dark brown. Black mambas tend to be large, averaging 2 to 3 meters in length, although there have been reports of some growing to as much as 4.5 meters. These great lengths have done little in impairing the snake's movement, as the black mamba is among the fastest snakes in the world, slithering at speeds of 12.5 miles an hour, or 20 kilometers an hour, according to National Geographic. But this speed is mainly vital in escaping from potential danger rather than hunting. And if it can't slither away, the black mamba turns to its potent venom as a last resort for defense. The venom gets to work almost immediately and can lead to collapse in about 20 minutes in the absence of treatment. In fact, before the antivenom was available, black mamba bites always led to death. This typically occurs from 7 to 15 hours after the attack. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. Inland Taipan The Inland Taipan holds the title for the most venomous snake in the world. It's no wonder that this is sometimes referred to as the Fierce Snake. This fierceness extends even beyond the snake world as this species has the most lethal venom of any known reptile. The snakes are endemic to Central and East Australia, where they were first known to the scientific world in the late 1870s, but disappeared for pretty much the next century until their rediscovery in 1972. According to snake experts, the inland taipan has evolved to exclusively hunt mammals, and the venom, being such an important tool in hunting, has adapted to be more lethal to the mammalian class, humans included. With a single bite, this snake can kill at least 100 fully grown men with a single fatality occurring within 30 to 45 minutes if the victim is left untreated. What makes it even more dangerous is the fact that it's so precise and fast in its strikes once it decides to attack. But that is not always the case. It tends to be shy and would rather flee than launch an onslaught right away. But woe unto you if you're blocking its escape route. 